Up here in the red, another one-on-one -on -one map. We have our Korean Protoss player from the team OGS. OGS MC. In the blue, our player from Sweden. Oh. Yeah, from the site team liquid.net. General once again choosing not to wall in right away. Yep. Rosette deeper down there. But this map a lot longer. Uh, the Zealots would not get there before the bunker on this map. It's a very timed out thing on Steps 4. Yeah, Steps of War is actually a very unique map in the sense that you can get so close to your opponent. Well, I mean, you, excuse me, you just are so close to your opponent. Yeah. There's stuff you can do that you just can't actually do on other maps. Stuff that looks extreme, uh, but actually it's just, just a proximity issue. Extreme proximity. Extreme. Extreme thing about as that. As extreme as the Mountain Dew that we get for free here at the GSL. That's right. Come out of the GSL, we'll give you a Mountain Dew. That's right. Even give you a Pepsi Zero if you want. You want Ooh. a Pepsi Zero? Come on down. Give it to That's you. Right. Sometimes at GOM TV, we even have free pizza. It's true. Yeah. Never cheese, though, so vegetarians, no luck there. No luck for artosis. All right, we do see the probe and SCV passing by each other, <laughs> going to scout. And, of course, in TVP, unless something crazy happens early, the Marine and the Stalker, they're going to chase away the scouts, and then we're going to see what's going on. And if you guys at home are wondering why is that the case, why doesn't it you know, look that different, it's because good players have to hide what they're doing. Very rarely can you just expose your strategy, and um, good players can basically read what the opponent's doing by uh, just looking at the buildings. Mm -hmm. If you can play Protoss, it actually means you can watch a Terran and know exactly what he's doing and vice versa. Whoa, he's going crazy, his probe's freaking out. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's having a seizure. That's wild. Oh my god, he's going to bite his own tongue off. Good thing probes don't have mouths or tongues. I know. Uh, the SCV has stolen some minerals and sees a second gas. So that's a little bit of a tell right there. It is so common, though, for Protoss to get two gas against Terran. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, over here, double barracks. That is actually tasteless. If we look at this probe again, look at that. It's actually a breakdancing probe. It's oh on my its god. side. That is actually so true. I could actually just... It's almost mesmerizing me. I could watch this for the whole game. <laughs> uh, we got... Uh, what is this? A reactor over here. General going with two racks. This is pretty interesting. I was actually expecting um, him to go one racks into command center uh, with marauders. Mm. But then again, we have seen um, players do go void race quite a bit on this map. Yeah. So you got to be careful about that. Uh, we have three gates over here. I'm curious if we're going to see a fourth. Yeah, that's... Let's see. Let's see. What, what are you going to do, Probe? Oh, you're making oh. a pylon that's not interesting. No, not very interesting at all. No. Unless it's a proxy pylon. And then it's quite interesting. Uh, we do have some Marines and Marauders walking forward. The breakdancing Probe has had to skedaddle. Does not want to uh, die. But uh, General right now, he is... Actually, he got concussive shells already, so he's just going to pressure a little bit while expanding is what I think is yeah. going to occur here. So, two sentries and a zealot. Yeah. Third century on the way. We've seen some Songho-esque style here from OGS MC. Yeah. You get out a bunch of sentries and skip that soccer, and no sort of uh, silly, you know, Terran two barracks play is going to get up your ramp. Well, you know, he's got to be careful because, oh my god, is he getting more sentries yeah you gotta be careful because you can't sentries you know are great for force field but um they kind of just tickle units yeah they don't exactly kill units it's as like well shining as a flashlight in someone yeah you'll get them eventually but it's <laughs> gonna take a while that uh, flashlight out of my eyes now he is expanding i i do like how many sentries he's getting this early uh notice jinro expanding as well but MC is the one I want to look at here for a minute. This many sentries this early is really pretty great because any attacks that come, he's going to cut them right in half in such a way that the sentries will be fine. After he gets the next sub, notice that we have a few more stalkers coming up. 
And the sentries now have time to build energy. When any real battles occur, they're going to have so much energy, yeah. there are going to be a ridiculous amount of force fields. And Jinro getting two more barracks. So uh, this, getting a lot of sentries like this, not terrible actually if it's pure infantry. Um, remember, if MC makes one mistake when the uh, force fields are thrown down, that ruins everything. He's That's in trouble. That's true. And now we do have a MC moving down the map a little bit right now. Wall General expands, getting up those bunkers. Those are crucial because otherwise, you can do some funny things to Sentry's taste. So you force oh, that ramp if all the units aren't down there. You, uh, use that Guardian Shield to really reduce the damage done by Marines and Marauders. It looks like uh, our Protoss player is actually going to go ahead and attack here, Artosis. Yeah, he may, but when he sees the bunkers, I do believe we will see him turn around. Yep. And you were right. He does have a pylon over here, so he can warp in additional units. Yeah, you know, he saw that bunker, and then he's like, oh, it's a bunker. If there's no bunker, you can go in there and really do a lot of damage, but the bunker just adds so much. Well, it takes so much time to kill. Careful. Yeah. Plus, SCVs can repair it. Okay, hold that thought, though. There we go. There he goes. He's going to go for it anyways, and going to just target that bunker down, not letting it get repaired. Beautiful force fields all over the place, and his stalker is just peeling apart every unit that Jinro has. Jinro in a lot of trouble. Look at this beautiful force, force field, so he fields. can't repair. Beautiful play by MC here. That Guardian Shield really reducing the damage done by the Marines in that bunker. Brilliant play here by MC. Uh, we were just saying that he wouldn't attack because of the bunkers, but he just got so many force fields up, put them around the bunker so SCDs couldn't repair them. And Artosis, I hate to say it, but I think we're going to have a GG here coming from Jinro pretty soon. Yeah, this is, this is just too many units tasteless. Uh, he's getting so far behind at this point. Let's take a look at the supplies. It is 66 for MC, 39 for Jinro. Wow, and look at this. His command center is even going to go out of this. Orbital command has no chance. Soccer's taking it out. And MC showing us the power of Protoss tasteless. Wow. Free gateway expansion into kill your opponent. You know, it's so funny because initially we were talking about... Um, the sentry is being used defensively, but Terran attacked. Yeah. But I now realize what he was doing was doing a very gradual um, expo build that would set up for a timing attack that would also punish a Terran that did a gradual expo build. That That is the beauty of what just happened there, Tastes. Yeah. You're quite right. It's If he was attacked, they would have helped out immensely, but he wasn't. So, you know, oh, you're relying on a couple bunkers and trying to expand a little bit early? Well, I'm going to go ahead and force field everything. Yeah. And you can't repair. Your units are not all firing at me at once. In the meantime, my superior range stalkers are dealing you buttloads of damage. So Jinro is in a lot of trouble right now, Tasteless. And he is bringing up this Marine Marauder force. I think we may see a very all-in attack here from Jinro as his last stand. Jinro has to make this work. If he doesn't work, I don't believe um, he's going to be in this game for much longer. Yeah. Uh, Problem is... 40 supply up is MC. Yeah, no kidding. And I'm sure some of that is probes, but not enough. Well, actually, 34. Oh, he's that's bringing probes. his SCVs. May Here as well. he comes. Trying to flank with the SCVs. Beautiful force fields. Actually, no. Terran does slip through. The question, however, is Good uh, service is this enough area. units? Oh, no. Not enough, though. Concave versus convex here. Uh, unfortunately, the raw strength of MC's army is going to win it for him. GG. And, wow. well. Jinro goes down 0-2 very quickly to a mighty MC. This guy is looking unstoppable already, Tasteless. Uh, ouch. I, I this feel is bad for Jinro at this point, and all the Jinro fans that have tuned in to watch this. But Jinro, he might be a little bit off his game. Luckily, we're going to have a commercial break coming up here in yep. a minute, I do believe. So Jinro's going to have time to cool down. Huck came in to support him today. Yep. So maybe Huck can give him uh, a little pep talk. little pep talk. Rub his shoulders. You know, yeah. make him feel good about himself, tell him he's pretty. Yeah, tell him he's handsome. Get that confidence back up there for Jinro. I, I've had to have friends do that for me at tournaments. Yeah. Yeah. I've done that for you at tournaments. You actually done that. I want to actually done that for me at tournaments. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he's going to have to get his head back in the game. Jinro, uh, to be blunt, is just getting dominated thus far. He is. He is. Uh, the I builds of MC, the play yeah. of MC, the execution of MC, he is just hammering. Yeah. Jinro I mean, down. there's just not a lot that Jinro can do, or could have done in those two games. MC basically had better um, openers. Yeah. If you want to know exactly what happened. MC's openers predicted what Jinro would do, um, and they were more efficient against the stuff that Jinro could have done otherwise. So yeah. I'm quite impressed with MC. I really want to go home and 
a try that build we just saw him do. Oh, absolutely. That was because so Because cool. that really made me think a lot. Um, it's a build I never would have thought of. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to close it out here in a minute. So this would be a good time for you to get some more food. That's true. Refill your water cup. You're going to have five minutes, no interview or anything. Yeah. You know, you that's more than enough time for a green tea. Make you a might want to throw sandwich. some laundry into the washing machine. You're really all about clean clothes, aren't you? I've been doing laundry all week, man. I finally ran out of ran out of clothes. We're just all dirty, so I've been doing laundry. I'm actually running out as of tomorrow. Oh, that's the Second worst. Second last pair of underwear. You know when right you now. yeah, it's your last pair of underwear, and then you just get like, scary. Oh. Get scary tastes. Yeah, because there's nothing worse than wearing. I hope gross no one underwear. wants to hang out with me tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll be back soon. We're waiting for our creative commentators to kind of close it out. Um, but yeah. Artosis, do you think Jinro can come back? Ah, you know, MC is looking so BC right now. Yeah. For Jinro to get his head back in the game and start winning some, it's going to be hard. MC's putting on so much pressure early. Yeah. I think if it gets into the mid, into the late game, Jinro's going to have a better shot. But in the early game, MC is completely dominating. Yeah. And so that's about it. We are out of time. You know, on that note, let's, let's, let's close this out. I just want to point out that you and me are both Christmas-themed today with these shirts. Red we both have red and white. Merry Christmas. Hopefully you can get your friends a GSL premium package for uh, for your gift. Yeah. Yeah. Season four. That's the greatest gift of all. Season three. Yeah. We got a lot more GSLs coming up. Get them hooked. It's like a drug. <laughs> yes. We're pushing GSL. Um, well, they really have a lot to say. Yeah, they do. We are. I think we are just so good at, you know, summarizing our ptosis. Yeah, I, I don't know what it could possibly be, but I don't those know games were not actually that complex. Yeah. So, um, we're still talking, but we won't be soon. Let's just be quiet. Let's be quiet. That doesn't, doesn't work. work. They still, they still keep going. I like to talk. Um, all oh, right, guys, we'll be back in just a little bit. Tight, but it's no surprise, I got nowhere to go Even if I try, try, but if I try